In this gripping video, you'll follow the perilous journey of five Americans as they attempt to survive the deadly grasp of the Soviet Union's secret police force, the NKVD. Through a combination of historical accounts and expert analysis, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the harrowing challenges faced by these brave individuals as they navigated their way through a hostile foreign land. From close encounters with Soviet authorities to tense moments of deception and disguise, their journey is one of true resilience and determination. Join us on this unforgettable journey as we delve into one of the most fascinating and little-known stories of the Cold War era. In the summer of 1933, a group of American tourists arrived in Russia, eager to explore the country and learn about its culture. The group consisted of ten people including two couples and six single travelers. They had planned a month-long trip, with stops in Moscow, Leningrad, and various small towns and villages along the way. At first, the trip was everything they had hoped for. They marveled at the grandeur of the Kremlin and the beauty of St. Petersburg's canals. They sampled local cuisine and drank vodka with new friends they made along the way. But soon, they would find themselves caught up in a deadly game of cat and mouse with the NKVD, the Soviet Union's secret police. It started innocently enough. One of the single travelers, a man named Jack, had been taking pictures of a bridge in Moscow when he was approached by two plainclothes officers. They demanded to see his camera and film, claiming that he had taken pictures of a military installation. Jack protested, but the officers were insistent, and they eventually confiscated his camera and film. The incident shook the group, and they became more cautious about what they photographed and said in public. But it was too late. The NKVD had already taken notice of them, and they were soon under surveillance. The group continued their journey, but they noticed that they were being followed by men in dark suits and hats. At first, they thought it was just a coincidence. But as the days went on, they became more and more convinced that they were being watched. One night, they were staying at a small inn in a remote village when they heard a knock on their door. It was the innkeeper, who told them that the police were outside and wanted to speak with them. The group was hesitant, but they eventually agreed to talk to the police. The officers questioned them about their trip and their activities, and they demanded to see their passports and travel documents. The group complied, but they were growing increasingly nervous. The officers took their passports and left, but they did not return them. The group was stranded in the village, unable to leave without their passports. They decided to go to the local police station to try to get them back, but when they arrived, they were taken into custody. The Americans were held in a cell for several days without any explanation. They were not allowed to contact the American embassy or their families back home. They had no idea what was happening or why they were being held. Eventually, they were released, but the nightmare was far from over. They were constantly followed and harassed by the NKVD, who seemed to be determined to make their trip as difficult and unpleasant as possible. One day, while they were traveling by train, the group was attacked by a group of men armed with clubs and knives. They managed to fight off their attackers, but they realized that they were in serious danger. The group decided to cut their trip short and return to the United States as soon as possible. They made their way to the American embassy in Moscow, where they were met with skepticism and suspicion. The embassy staff did not believe their story and accused them of being spies. It took several weeks of negotiations and appeals to higher authorities before the group was finally allowed to leave Russia. They returned home shaken and traumatized by their ordeal, and they never forgot the terrifying experience of being hunted by the NKVD. The incident was one of many examples of the Soviet Union's paranoid and oppressive regime during the Stalin era. The Americans who had gone on a trip to Russia in search of adventure and cultural enrichment instead found themselves caught up in a deadly game of espionage and intimidation.